Let us now get into the topic 3 of this particular session today. In this topic, in the previous topic, we saw the various levels at which the strategies are being implemented. We saw that the corporate strategy is there, the business strategy is there, then the functional strategy, operating strategy. We also understood a little bit about the crafting of strategy. What is crafting of strategy? Crafting of strategy is the basic level at which the strategy is designed and developed. So we need to craft a particular strategy in order to go ahead and get that implemented at various levels like the functional level, the business level, the operating level, as well as the corporate level. So when we craft the strategy, what are the approaches that are required to craft a particular strategy? We have four approaches to crafting a strategy. What are these four approaches to craft a strategy? The first approach is the chief architect approach. When I say the chief architect approach is that the, the managing director or the CEO of the organization becomes the architect or becomes the person who goes ahead and strategize the policies for the organization. He is the one who brings out the different strategies which are going to be implemented for the organization. So he becomes the chief architect of that particular strategy. Hence, this is known as the chief architect approach to a strategy or crafting a strategy. Then you have the delegation approach. When we say delegation approach, what happens is that we also, we also have people, employees working in the organization. So you delegate to various employees in order to go ahead and come out with a proper strategy. You, you know that the employees are aware of the mission and the objectives of the organization. So you delegate certain members of a team to come out with a particular strategy and then you evaluate these strategies and adopt that particular strategy which are very very good. In the case of the chief architect approach there could be the consulting firms which also becomes the architect for crafting a particular strategy because in small and medium sized companies many a times we do not have the internal department which is capable of crafting strategies so consultancy departments do take over in coming out with proper strategies you have a f fugerson who is one of the consultants who comes out with various strategies then in the collaborative or the team approach in this particular case the entire team is held is brought into a discussion to formulate a particular strategy the entire team gets involved in formulating a particular strategy so every business unit or every head of the business unit goes ahead and talks to the various members of the team and provides the information to the various members of the team as to what type of strategy the organization is looking for what is the objective of the organization what is the mission and vision of the organization. Based on this, the members of the team have a brain, brainstorming session under which they come out with a particular strategy which can be implemented in the organization. Now, once this particular strategy becomes fruitful, then the strategy is implemented to all the sales aspect, to all the aspects or to all the markets in which the company is operating. Then we have the corporate entrepreneur approach where every individual is asked to be an entrepreneur. Every individual of the organization, every employee is given an opportunity to be an entrepreneur or think like an entrepreneur. If he was the entrepreneur, what was the strategy that he would have adopted in order to improve the performance of the organization? If you were the entrepreneur, what was the strategy that you would have adopted in order to improve the performance of the sales in the organization. How would you increase the profitability of the organization if you had been the entrepreneur of that particular organization? So that is an entrepreneur approach where every individual is considered to be an entrepreneur and thinks like an entrepreneur to come out or develop a particular strategy for the organization. It is very, very important that every employee looks or works as an entrepreneur. When he does that, he understands the difficulty of an organization. He understands the various issues of the organization and he's able to come out and formulate a better strategy in order to improve the performance of the organization.